In this video, we are going to discuss using different implementation, specification, and client-side code files. Um, previously, we've talked about uh, just creating a class inside of a header file like this, uh, using all inline functions. Um, and then we were obviously able to go ahead and use these uh, functions over here inside main. Um, but there's actually, uh, well, with inline functions, this is just fine. Uh, but if we wanted to do anything else, like say a double get area, um, and let's say that we just decided for some reason we don't want to uh, define that or um, show the implementation or code up the uh, what this function is actually going to do here inside this file. So we've built ourselves just a function or method rather, method header. And now we want to go ahead and go and define um, the rest of get area and say what it actually does. Now to do this, what we do is we simply right click source files and we click add new item. And we're going to add a C++ file. And we're going to go ahead and just call it the same thing as our header file, rectangle. Now here we need to pound include and we have to include the rectangle.h. And now this gives us access to our rectangle class. And now we're going to do something that seems like it might seem kind of foreign right at first, but it actually starts to make sense pretty quick. So we're going to write this basically exactly like we would a normal function. So first we put the return type, which is a double, because we're just writing the function definition for this prototype. And now we have to specify the scope of this function. And so this method is within the class rectangle. And so rectangle is the scope of this method. And so what we do is we say rectangle, and then we put two colons. Now these two colons um, together create the scope resolution operator. And basically what that does is it just says um, whatever is before the colons, that is the scope, and whatever is after it is what I'm defining that is within that scope. And so we're saying double rectangle get area, and then now we just treat it exactly like a normal function. And so we will return. And now this is kind of cool. Um, since we are now within the scope of rectangle, we can we actually have access to the private members. And so we can simply do return length times width. Um, our other option, if we did not want to use the data, use these private variables, which is often frowned upon, but is okay. So no stressing about that. Um, in another video, we've also talked about constructors. And so if we go ahead and add a constructor, then this is also the appropriate place to add a constructor, um, is in this implementation file. And so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just say length equals, oh, excuse me, I'm making a mistake here. So we have this thing rectangle. But well, once again, we don't have what scope it is in. Um, so let's go ahead and just start over with that. So first thing we need to do is once again, we need to use our scope resolution operator. We do rectangle, scope resolution operator, and then rectangle for the constructor name. And there we go. And now we can say length equals, uh, we'll just set it to 10 off the bat, and width equals 10 off the bat. And for more information on constructors, just go view the constructor video and you'll be able to understand that without any issue. Uh, but this is generally the accepted way to do um, or how to lay out our code it, these days is that we have one file for kind of the client uh, interface or interaction. And so anything that the user that we're going to um, interface with the user with will be put into main, uh, not necessarily this like the function main, but just in this scope. Um, and in this file. And then we will have a specification file or a header file where we list our prototypes and um, set up our class. And then we have an implementation file where we actually implement these functions or these methods um, and kind of put everything about that class in here. Um, 
And that pretty much covers the, the proper way to split up your code into three different files.